I want to start with this sort of really big picture stuff. How do you and the team think about investing over the next 10 years compared to investing over the previous decade or so? How different is this oh, going to be? I think it's very different. I mean, I, this is where I, I, I think it feels really good to be an active manager, right? Because you've just come off a decade where money was free. Uh, you know, you, you, you didn't earn anything in the fixed income market. So the obvious place to go was the equity markets. And when you do that, you have a momentum market and passive outperforms in momentum markets. And, uh, and if you were lucky enough, you could qualify for the private markets and then you did, you know, got excess returns there. Now it's much tougher, right? And, you know, I still think that actually the, the, I was listening to the two of you back and forth on the politics of where the Fed's going to go, uh, which is all the reason why I would say the best thing for the Fed to do is to ignore the politics of the election uh, and really look at the data. And I do think if they look at the data, I, I'm a believer that it's probably September uh, that uh, is our first rate cuts are probably in September. And frankly, maybe 50 basis points, maybe not the 75 that people think. And it's, you know, there are still 1.4 jobs for every one person looking for a job. Wages are still increasing. You saw a story uh, with Europe stocks, you know, the projecting on earnings of European companies, and it's because the U.S. consumer is still strong. So, you know, I, I think... Uh, uh, this next decade is going to be all about risk-adjusted uh, risk asset uh, management and uh, active management. You introduced the political conversation, <laughs> so let's go there. You think they should ignore the politics. Can you personally ignore the politics? I think if you're the Fed, the best thing, you know, in, in the end, you can never defend yourself if you've allowed the politics to you know, infiltrate your thinking. And so the best thing is to just be able to truly look at the data and stand by that, because you're, no matter what they do, they're going to get criticized on the timing. Uh, so, you know, take out the politics in your decision making process and then you can stand by it.